So this user asks a great question. Why is it that people are okay with meat farming or even fur farming, but they're not okay with bat farming? So to make a long story short, there's no such thing as bat farming. Yes, unfortunately you did hear that correctly. There is no such thing as bat farming. And you may have heard this myth perpetrated if you went to go buy a bat and the seller told you it's okay, they came from a bat farm. That's been a very widely circulated uh, lie that a lot of unethical sellers will tell. Now, if you have fallen for this lie, try not to beat yourself up about it. It is widely circulated and unfortunately it's very hard to look into. When I tried to look into it for this video, um, it's hard to get results that specifically center around is bat farming a thing? But the fact of the matter is nobody is farming bats for the purpose of anything, nevertheless for the oddities market. Bats don't breed very well in captivity. Um, in some zoos with certain species, they may have a surplus of bats and that can lead to them selling them as pets, unfortunately, um, to the exotic pet trade or even as specimens for research where they will usually not survive that experience, but nobody's raising bats for the purpose of the oddities market. That means that every single bat specimen you see, like this one here, was obtained from the wild. And you might be saying to yourself, okay, well, maybe they aren't farmed, but almost everything in that background behind you was also obtained from the wild. Why are bats any different? Bats have been harvested in different parts of the world for a mixture of food and as a form of pest control. Um, we also saw a lot of this during the COVID crisis where people were killing as many bats as they could because of fears of the disease spreading, um, which massively harmed populations. But when it comes to people taking bats out of the environment for food or other such purposes, they weren't doing so to the extent that we're seeing today. Now, in addition to people taking them out of the environment for food or because they see them as pests, they're also taking bats out of the environment to make bat oddities, such as the dried bat I showed earlier. Now, unlike, let's just say, this gray wolf here that was hunted in the United States, um, the bats aren't really being regulated the same way. So let me give you an example of what I mean here. Let's say that right now I wanted to go fishing. I would need to go get a fishing license. The money that's gained from that license goes directly back into conservation. Additionally, there's gonna be some kind of regulations on where I'm allowed to fish, what kind of fish I'm allowed to catch, the size of the fish that I'm allowed to catch, and what seasons I'm allowed to catch said fish in. And of course, there's gonna be limits on how many fish I'm allowed to catch. That last point is very important because when it comes to bats, they're very misunderstood, essentially. They're very understudied, and we don't really know what the current populations look like for most bat species. We do know that the overhunting of these bats for some species is causing a severe decline and causing species to become endangered or risk extinction, but we don't know the full story. And because nobody's out there regulating these populations as they're being caught for these oddities, we don't know how much harm is being done. Nobody's getting permits for these bats. Nobody's reporting back how many bats they're catching. We're lucky if we even know what species exactly they're catching because sometimes it's very difficult to tell bats apart and a very common species can look very similar to a very endangered species. So overall, there's no ethical way to buy these bat oddities. And unfortunately, a lot of us find that out a little bit too late, myself included. But now that you know, please spread the word, let people know, and buy fake bat oddities instead. There's so many cool things you can get these days, whether it's a well-made art doll, a 3D printed skull, or any other kind of fake bat oddity, it's going to be much more ethical than the real thing. And if you see a seller that says that their bats were sourced from a bat farm, I would write that seller off entirely because they clearly have no problems with lying to their customers about their sourcing. Some of these sellers may genuinely think that they are buying from a bat farm. Other sellers know exactly what they're doing. I wouldn't risk it either way because this is somebody who's not very well educated about the ethical practices of their trade.